Hi, welcome guys, back in the Swing Studio here. Uh, what I'm just going to talk a little bit about today is I've just had a customer in for a custom fit session for a new driver. Um, he, he's sort of struggled with his own driver, he's, he's sort of ditched the driver, gone to three wood, but feels like he's missing out on some yards. So he's come in, I wanted to have a go with a few different options that we've got in here on our custom fit wall. Um, and try and get a driver that's correctly fitted for him. Uh, he suffers with a heavy sort of left to right ball flight. Um, so obviously a bit of a slice, loses it right of target uh, quite often, which obviously is losing him a lot of yards, penetration on ball flight, and obviously put him in the trouble out on the golf course. Three wood, he's, he's telling me he, he hits it a lot more, a lot straighter, so a lot more control, but obviously he's losing that little bit of distance there, which he feels is a disadvantage to him. So after hitting a few shots, we sort of really established using HMT that his strike pattern was very sort of spread on the on the club face. There was a lot of low heel, high toe, some in the middle, but very spread around the actual club face. Um, and that was giving a real big sort of differences in his ball speed. His, his you know, obviously his central hits, he was, he was maxing his ball speed, but then his drop-offs were quite severe. So it's very inconsistent on the length of the shots he was hitting. So um, what we did here, we just popped him into a Shrixen Z355 driver. Okay, this is one of the new ones that Shrixen have just brought out uh, towards the end of last year. Um, it's got Meizaki shaft in it, which is um, on the lighter side, basically. So I've just popped him into a setting here on the next sleeve. As you can just see there, the L there, which is left. So that is, adds a little bit of loft to it, so it's a nine and a half. Uh, so we actually went down in loft uh, from what he did have in his bag, but then added the extra degree to it, which allows me to close the face a couple of degrees. So what I'm trying to do help here is help him reduce his side spin. Okay. Now his particular action did come across the golf ball with an open face. So that little setting has helped him a little bit, but obviously he has got some technique change to maybe make there as well. Probably the biggest thing we did here was I put a bit of tape on the top of the club here and asked him to grip down about about three quarters of an inch to an inch down the grip. So essentially making the club a little bit shorter. And the difference he did after hitting half a dozen shots from doing that was his strike pattern just really sort of like went, you know, squeeze right into a quite a central um, strike location. So yeah, he has got a couple of little flaws in his swing, which we're probably going to look at with a few lessons. But we got a red of these real low heel strikes, very high toe strikes, and really sort of grouped his strike pattern a lot more central in his club face. So what that allowed him to do was to control the spin on the ball a little bit more, so there was a bit less gear effect, twisting, etc. His, his spin numbers were a lot more consistent. And yeah, he was hitting it a little bit left to right, but the big, huge slices had, had sort of disappeared. Um, and he was he was getting more of a consistent ball flight that that is probably more playable when he gets out on that golf course. And this is the important thing here, because um, you know these manufacturers they are all about striving to increase club head speed, which is great. You know, gaining a few mile an hour on club head speed is, is all good. But if you can't control it, and, and some well, a lot of golfers can't control the drivers in terms of where they strike it. And if, if you miss centre uh, of the club face, then your drop off in ball speed is far greater than what you'll gain in club head speed. Okay, so this is the whole sort of idea of maybe just getting custom fit using HMT. We can see your strike pattern, where you are striking it how you actually deliver that club to that golf ball, which helps to determine, you know, maybe the flex of the shaft, the type of the shaft in there, obviously loft, face angle, um, you know. So what we've done with him here is we've just cut this down three quarters of an inch, uh, obviously fitting in with the new tall velvet grip, um, and he's ready to go, brand new driver. He's happy, he's hitting fairway more than what he used to. He's built him a little bit of confidence, which is, again, a massive part of it. Um, and, and hopefully he's going to get a little bit more enjoyment out of the game. Okay, if you're struggling with your driver, come in with your driver. We'll get it on the GC2. Let's just see if it's performing to what it should be doing. If it's not, then let's see why it isn't. Maybe is it shaft? Is it the simple fact of the length of it? You know, that's. Uh, I think a lot of people just buy woods off the shelf where, you know, get fitted. 
that's so important to do that because you are unique you know you are an individual and everybody swings a club differently everybody's got different patterns let's fit to your pattern okay right guys thanks for watching hopefully we'll see you all soon and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this thanks for watching see you all soon